So our assessment is built of kind of three components. You have a first page, you have all of the questions that are randomized in the middle of the assessment. Regular application, we're using workflow here. Now that we're sharing the screen, we have some conditionals that we're leveraging. The assessment itself, though, is built up of three different components. So the front page is a page where we're using a lot of pre-fill from Salesforce. So there are pre-fill connectors here that the applicants get links to, and that lets them know or form assembly know, has this assessment already been completed? Because we didn't want people to be able to just click a link and take the assessment over and over again to get a higher score and kind of memorize the questions. So this form gets shut down if the assessment is already completed. Prefill some contact information to the form. If anybody's using form assembly and pre-filling, you know, obviously the responses are going to be coming back to Salesforce and linking via those IDs in most cases. When that happens, one pro tip, some things that I've experienced is in your email communications, but also within the form itself, and you'll see how this plays out, be sure to call out if this form is for a specific respondent. You don't want people saying, oh, I just took this assessment. I'm super excited about it. Let me go pass it to my friend, right? It needs to be really clear that if you're using pre-fill in the way that we're using pre-fill, you're going to only be the person taking this assessment. So we're pre-filling some IDs that's gonna help us in the workflow connectors, link the responses back and really help with that save and resume functionality that Michael hinted on. And uh, here in the form, you're gonna see all, every single question has a corresponding field in Salesforce in, in an assessment record that lets you know whether that question has already been taken. So if somebody takes four questions and they need a break, they can close down the form completely, come back when they're ready, click on the link in their email, and workflow will pre-fill again and say, oh, you've already taken these four questions. These are listed as complete, but question 1.6 isn't complete. And you're going to see in the workflow, that's going to use that conditional routing feature to go to the next question that you should be taking. Because again, we didn't want people to come back and take this assessment multiple times. There's actually a set amount of times that you can take any category of the assessment. It's part of our client's uh, need and use case. So just a lot of pre-fill function happening here. So this is the first page of any of the assessment category is, is a big pre-fill, let you know who it's for, and we'll also kind of shut the form down if it's already been completed.